Welcome to a countdown of the top 10 tycoon games coming up in 2018. Developed by Oxymoron Games, Project Hospital is a hospital management sim. Now, I'm sure many of you will have played and have very, very fond memories of Theme Hospital, the classic hospital management sim. And many people have said that this is a spiritual successor. But really, they couldn't be more wrong. This game has very, very little in common with Theme Hospital, other than the fact that it's a hospital. Theme Hospital was all about funny, fake illnesses, whereas Project Hospital is all about realism. The game features a hundred realistically recreated diseases and you'll be expected to focus on specific patients and manually order examinations and medical procedures. It's all about the realism and the micromanagement of running a medical facility. I just hope the developers don't lose the plot and focus so much on the realism of the game that they forget it's a game. It's got to be fun. I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this one. Academia is a school simulator, and it's also a Prison Architect clone. And when you compare it with Prison Architect, it really suffers in the comparison. But what people forget is that Prison Architect was in early access for over two years. This has only been in early access for three months. Yeah, it needs some work. It needs some work on the UI, and it needs a hell of a lot more content. But what the game is now, compared to what it could be in perhaps 18 months, are two very different things. Now, would I buy the game today? Hmm, maybe, maybe not. But would I definitely have it on my wish list and be checking back with the game, looking at every update? Oh yeah, because if this game does carry on getting polish, getting extra content, then this game could turn out to be really, really good. You can get the game on Steam Early Access, and it's only available for PC. Pizza Connection 3 follows very much in the footsteps of its predecessors. You assume the role of an owner of a newly opened small pizzeria, and you're tasked with transforming your small business into a big network of restaurants scattered all across the world. The game features both a sandbox mode and a long story campaign. The single player campaign starts on the streets of Rome and during the 12 long missions will take the player to, amongst other places, Berlin, Washington and Sydney. And you'll have to manage your restaurants and your employees, decorate your buildings, invest in market analysis and marketing. And you'll have to deal with the competition who don't always fight fair. But that's okay, because you've got some dirty tricks all of your own. And as always with Pizza Connection, the big feature is the Pizza Creator, which allows you to create your own unique recipes from over 75 ingredients. Pizza Connection 3 will be released on March the 22nd, and it's available only on PC. For the ambitious tycoon, the start of a thriving empire is only ever one deal away. Exploiting gaps in the market and meeting demand is all in a day's work for a cunning entrepreneur. And expanding your business is necessary if you're to keep up with the times. But you won't be the only one looking to make it big. Competitors and self-sufficient towns will soon leave you looking for that next niche in the market. And a change of entrepreneurial tactics might be necessary to fend off financial collapse. However, be careful with your newfound direction. A poorly planned infrastructure will grind your business to a halt. And badly placed polluting industry will be sure to harm your reputation and quickly turn your business allies into foes. But the savvy business person will have all this under control with well-executed trade routes by road, water, air, and rail. And a well-targeted PR campaign will soon have those green towns and villages back on side and accepting your goods. All that's left to worry about is what you're going to produce next. For you are an industrialist, and success is in your blood. And who knows what the next new day will bring in Rise of Industry.
this game is something really different. Mega Aquarium. Now this is produced by Twice Circled, who are the same people that made Big Farmer, which I thought was a great game, so I have very, very high hopes for this. It's all about building and running a public aquarium. Now you might think there's not that much to running an aquarium, but you'd be wrong. First, you have to plan your aquarium layout, which is more difficult than it sounds because not only do you have to arrange your tanks for optimum visitor flow, but you've also got to provide easy access from the rear for your staff. You've got to hire and manage your staff. You've got to source or grow your own food to feed to the fish. The feeding schedules are complex as well. And you don't just throw some fish in a tank and that's it. Oh no, different types of fish will interact with each other. And you can also add decorations and you can create powerful combinations which increase the rate at which they generate income. But be careful because if you put the wrong fish together, they'll eat each other. From cute little clownfish to great white sharks, crabs and lobsters, jellyfish, corals. Guys, this could be the surprise game of 2018. It's time to get all Jeremy Clarkson because this is Production Line. This is a modern car factory sim, which the developers describe as a near perfect example of efficiency, process management and flow. A massive army of precision controlled robots dance to a millimeter perfect ballet of engineering excellence. I think Jeremy would be proud. When I first looked at this game a couple of months ago, I, to be honest, I wasn't really that impressed, but I started following the developers uh, vlogs and over the last couple of months, I completely changed my opinion. I think this game is gonna be awesome. And if you like the look of this game, I'd really suggest you check out the developers vlogs. Uh, the guy's name is Cliff Harris, and they're really interesting. Some of them about uh, how the game's gonna develop, what he's been working on, but some of them are technical vlogs. And he talks about multi-threading and optimization. And I've gotta say, I think they're really interesting. And I really like the direction that the game is going in. Like initially, it all seemed to be about just the production line, just the production line. But recently he's been talking more about the tycoon side of the game. Uh, how sales are, are generated, rather than it just being uh, random percentages of how many you sell. Uh, it's now going to be like properly market driven. Uh, like if you want to know more, check out the vlogs. In terms of what you can do in the game, there's lots of cars to produce. Budget cars, luxury cars, 4x4s, sports cars. And the amount of options that you can put on the cars is unbelievable. This guy really knows about producing cars. Every little bit and piece that you can imagine on a car, it's on here. If you like engineering, if you're a petrol head, or if you're just a tycoon nut, check this game out, because I think you're gonna like it. Mother Nine, I'm dropping in. This is Industries of Titan, and straight up, this game has got me all kinds of excited. Welcome to Titan. The developers described the game as an industrial city building sim slash strategy game. It's half city builder, half competitive tycoon game, but with some real time strategy elements thrown in. You play as the head of a giant corporation in competition with others. And your job is to build a city on the surface of Titan, one of Saturn's moons. Starting with just a few small buildings, you can design and build a massive metropolis. As well as building factories, you'll have to set up production lines to process raw resources. You're going to have to design as well as build your own spaceships, which I'm, I'm really excited by. The game has multiple victory conditions, including combat, technological superiority, political influence. It just sounds awesome. This is one to watch. This is Two Point Hospital. And this is the true successor to Theme Hospital. These guys get it. The developers really understand about creating a game that's fun. Just listen to how they talk about their game. Two Point Hospital, you don't want to put it in a box, but it's a business management simulation. It doesn't take itself particularly seriously. Something we've been you know, working on for the last couple of years, but it's something we've been thinking, thinking about, about for, 20, for yeah. yeah. Two Point Hospital is a game about building hospitals, curing some slightly odd patients, 
and ultimately building a healthcare organisation across the whole of Two Point County. You spend your time building rooms, placing items, uh, looking after patients, managing your staff. It's, uh, it's spinning plates. So we've come up with lots of fun and wacky, if you like, um, made up illnesses and we've come up with lots of wonderful cure instruments. How a lot of them come about. Yeah. We often think of what sounds funny and then work out a visual for the funny sounding illness. The example of lightheadedness, you know, a chap that's got a, a light bulb for a head, kind of thinking, well, you know, used to have to unscrew light bulbs. So it's basically you know, it's a grabber that just twists on the top of his head, dumps the old light bulb out and then twists a new head onto him. They're not very scientific. It's highly exaggerated. It's very much that old-fashioned cartoon uh, look to it. And, uh, you know, that's where, that's where you get the charm. That's where you get the character. Our team of highly trained clinicians and support staff are dedicated to your well-being. We do want people to be able to express themselves through how they build up their hospitals and really spend time decorating them and you know, trying to make the most interesting place for the patients that are coming through and places that will keep the staff happy. We, we want people to feel like it's their hospital. Uh, everyone's got a, uh, in a in a designer, everyone likes creating things, everyone likes making things pretty. We wanted to make little people games, that's kind of our, our vision for, for where we're going. We wanted to do more than just make a game where you play a hospital level and then you complete it and move on to another hospital level. We wanted to make a richer world and also make you care a lot more about the people that live in that world. In our world, hospitals look like this. Six months ago, when Tropico 6 was announced, I immediately put it into my top three. And that was sight unseen. Hadn't seen any gameplay. Now that I've actually seen some gameplay, I am confident to still leave it in my top three. What do we know about the new game? Well, instead of having a single island, you've got an archipelago, which means something that we've never had before in a Tropico game, the ability to build bridges. And there's this new concept of world wonders and raids. Yes, El Presidente is sending out his spies and soldiers to steal wonders of the world and bring them back. And some of these are pretty funny. For example, uh, sneaking over to France, disassembling the Eiffel Tower and sneaking it back into Tropico, <laughs> hidden in tourists' luggage. I think it's going to be awesome. Viva El Presidente. Viva Llamas. Viva Tropico 6. This game is worth getting really, really, really excited about. This is Jurassic World Evolution. The gaming world is full of games that showed so much promise in the initial stages and ended up disappointing us. So why am I allowing myself to get so, so, so excited about this game? Well, primarily it's because it's being developed by Frontier. And for any of you who don't know, Frontier were the people who produced Planet Coaster, the best roller coaster tycoon game of all time, full stop. And some of the best building and terrain tools you've seen in any game of any genre. They did a fantastic job. These are some very, very talented guys. And in their hands, I think they could do something really, really amazing with Jurassic World. They're being supported by the guys at Universal and the in-game footage that we've now seen on top of this cinematic trailer shows you just how good this game is going to look. If they can get the engaging gameplay to go with it, this game is going to be a monster. That's it for this top 10. What were your favourites? Leave me a comment, hit that like button and remember to subscribe for more top 10s and trailers. As always, a massive thank you to my patrons for making this all possible, and I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.